things to know about the next great high school musical drama. If you've been wanting a teen drama to watch on TV, you're in luck. Rise will debut on NBC in 2018. Here's everything you need to know about the show. 1. It's a new kind of high school drama. At first glance, the show looks like Glee 2.0, but it's completely different. There's a musical element to Rise, but there's a much deeper element of drama. Rise follows dedicated teacher Lou Mazzuccelli, Josh Radner, as he takes over his high school's theater department. His ideas inspire the faculty, the students, and the entire working class town. This show is going to feature some tear-jerking moments and some powerful musical performances. 2. Rise stars a group of very talented young actors. Ali I. Cravlo, the voice of Mona, plays Lilette Suarez in the series. Damon J. Gillespie, Ted Sutherland, Rarmi and Newton, Taylor Richardson, Ellie Desotils, and Casey Johnson round out the younger cast members who are series regulars. You may not know the names of these actors now, but you will after watching Rise. If you're Stranger Things fan, you'll spot Shannon Purser, aka Barb, in the series as well. 3. The premiere is not that far away. Rise will premiere Tuesday, March 13 on NBC. 4. The show is based on a book. Rise, created by Jason Katims and Jeffrey Seller, is inspired by the book drama High by Michael Sokolov. The creators based some of their characters on the people in Drama High, but some of them are entirely new. The characters of Robbie and Lilette are new characters created for the show. 5. Rise has already stirred up controversy. The show is based on the true story of high school teacher Lou Volpe, who was the focus of Drama High. Lou was a closeted married man who later came out as gay. However the Rise version of Lou has been rewritten to be a straight man. The creators were accused of straight washing Lou. Jason spoke out about the controversy at the Television Critics Association's annual Winter Press Tour we took, the book, as an inspiration, and then I really felt like I needed to make it, you know, my own story, Jason said. With Lou's family life and Lou's family itself, there's a lot of reimagination. Not just in terms of gay or straight, but in terms of the family structure. Jason stressed that Rise will not going to shy away from issues about sexuality. I was inspired to tell the story of Michael, this transgender character, and Simon who's dealing with his sexuality and growing up in a very conservative religious family, Jason continued. Those stories felt like they resonated with me as a storyteller, I wanted to lean into that. Hollywood lifers, are you going to watch Rise? Let us know.